What's going on YouTube? Kevin here from TGI Tech Day with an updated video regarding the giveaway for the Cotton Carrier hand strap. Now on the last video I made some mistakes regarding the details of the giveaway so this video is hopefully going to patch that up and I just want to say in advance this is the updated video just to reiterate and if you guys entered in on the last giveaway video consider that entry nulled and erased and wiped. That giveaway video no longer exists. This is the one you should be using. So hopefully you guys will you know recomment and follow the instructions and you will be entered in um, but i apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused or any trouble or any mishap like that i feel like i already caused enough even though only a few people entered in at the time that i realized this mistake so just to clear things up i am still giving this away and um, the rules are pretty much the same as last time but the rules i kind of weren't clear on the things you had to do to enter so i'm here to hopefully correct that so you must do three things. You must, first of all, and first and foremost, be subscribed to TGI Tech Day. It really helps the channel out and helps uh, provide for things like giveaways. Uh, you must like this video just to show me some support. And you also have to comment down below. Now you can't just comment any old comment saying like, hi, hello, or things like that. Um, I figured that since Cotton Carrier didn't actually give me real instructions on how to conduct this giveaway that it will be up to me to tell how it goes. So that's what I'm going to do. And seeing as this is a camera related accessory, I figured I should ask a camera related question. It makes the most sense in my mind. So I have kind of a two or three part question depending on what type of camera you have. But the first question you have to answer in the comment is, um, what camera do you own? It could be anything from like a webcam to a smartphone to a DSLR or um, even a camcorder. Anything you use to capture pictures or video, anything like that. Um, just give me the name of the camera that you're using. And as a kind of a sub question, if it is a camera that has interchangeable lenses like a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, just comment also what lenses do you own? Now the second and or third question, depending on how you want to look at it, is what do you use your camera for? I'm really curious to see what my audience is really interested in and what they use their DSLRs or cameras to do, to capture. And this can be anything. It could be just social events with friends, it could be a professional business, whatever it is. I'll just comment that down below and you have to answer all two or three of those questions depending on if it pertains to you. So it's a fair question to ask when is this giveaway going to end? And if the past is any indication, I will you know, say this upfront, it may take a while, anywhere from a few months to maybe even closer to a year. And it's not really because I'm lazy, it's because I really do appreciate when companies take the time out of their schedules and the PR people and the customer service representatives take the time out of their schedules to read my emails, respond to them, and then work with me as kind of like a business situation to send these products out to me for review for their company. And you know, their thoughts in this is that, oh, I'm getting promotion, I'm getting cheap advertising, I'm getting publicity, which is what all companies want. And I figure if the company was nice enough to send me some of their products and you know, two of these, for example, um, they're losing a little bit of profit and I figured that to make up for that, they should really get noticed and really get promoted. So I feel like I really do want to get this out for the winter holidays just because, you know, it seems appropriate. That's the time that you gift things to people in general. But I feel like I want to gift and give back to the company. If I feel like they haven't gotten enough notice and enough publicity, then I might extend the giveaway further. I would like to have like a certain number of entries in mind before I draw the giveaway winner, but I don't really know how slow that's going to work. It may go fast, it may go slow. I have just over 700 subscribers, which to me personally doesn't seem like a lot because I have a channel that has over 12,000 subscribers besides this one. Um, so 700 seems really small and in the tech world and tech reviewers and video makers like me, that's actually kind of a small number. So hopefully this will get out in time for the winter holidays. If not, I will be sure to update you guys along the way. But again, just for a really all complete summary of everything that's going on in this giveaway video, go ahead and check out the description down below. So if I haven't already explained to you guys why exactly I had to redo this giveaway video, I'm going to go over that right now for those of you who care about it. If not, I won't be offended if you go ahead and click away from this video after you've entered in all your information down below that you need to do to enter into this giveaway. But I feel like I owe it to you guys to explain why I have to recreate this. It was an error on my part, so I will admit that I was wrong and I apologize again for the inconvenience. But 
my understanding was just wrong of how the giveaway generator works. Um, I'm gonna give a shout out to Droid Chat here on YouTube and on Twitter for clearing this up for me and kind of making this clear and making me, you know, go back to simpler steps when I actually read things um, instead of listening to things. So when I first heard of the Insanely Great Mac generator, which is what I used to do my giveaways, um, the guy who runs Insanely Great Mac here on YouTube, Mike, um, I believe I heard it wrong from what he said. Um, he says that the giveaway gets rid of duplicate entries, and in my mind, that process too, they eliminate multiple entries from the same user, which is really not the case at all, and that's been my understanding for a while. I mean, it doesn't, it hasn't technically hurt anyone in the past, but it is just something I should clear up for you guys and for myself. The IGM giveaway generator, what it does is it takes all the comments posted on a video and then it strips away all the comments and you're just left with the user names of the people who commented. And if there are um, multiple or duplicate entries or duplicate names, it condenses that down into one single entry so that everyone has a fair advantage. Um, I think I was going for the fact that if we all just did one singular comment, it would all still count as one comment, but it will also kind of keep the giveaway comments, you know, kind of spam free and, you know, kind of got rid of any extra and extraneous information and comments that weren't supposed to or didn't have to be there. So that was my understanding of the giveaway generator, but I reread all the instructions thoroughly and that was wrong. So again, I apologize. I mistook that, misunderstood, didn't take the chance to read it really in depth. So that explains why I had to redo this giveaway. So thanks for watching guys. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future. And for all of you who are participating, good luck, and I will see you guys in the next video.